Hi there! In today's video, I'm going to help you to understand a little bit about the menu settings that's called automatically add new top level pages to this menu in your menu settings in WordPress. So um, let me close this window first. So this is the demo site. I'm currently using the uh, 2016 theme, the default theme, and using the recent version of WordPress. If you, for example, want to see the 2016 demo theme, you can just Google 2016 demo and you will see this uh, URL or you just can go to 2016demo.wordpress.com and this is the, uh, the default theme demo. As you can see, it has home, about, and then style guide page with uh, child page image alignment. So um, in this demo, I still don't have menu, so we want to create menu. To do so, you can check out my other tutorial about uh, helping to understand about menu, how menu works in WordPress. In this demo, as I said earlier, I'm just going to focus on the automatically add new top level pages to this new menu. So let's go to the dashboard and go to appearance and menus and if you still haven't created any menu you will uh, see this on your screen so for this demo I'm just going to create menu name I'm just going to create a um, top menu for example and then click on create menu so now I have a top menu and as you can see I have that options and the theme location so because this menu I want to have uh, my menu and not social links menu I'm going to choose primary menu and the add auto pages I will leave it as empty as is so uh, that you can understand later on and then once I'm done with this menu settings I'm just going to click on save menu so now for example I'm going to add this uh, uh, to add my new menu to this top menu name so I'm just going to go to pages here and then select my uh, sample page and then going to click on add to menu so now as you can see it is now uh, added here and if you want to modify this then you can modify and to understand this in depth you can check out my other tutorial about menu so let me close this and I'm going to click on save menu for now so uh, here it still doesn't have menu but now if I refresh my browser you can see now I have this sample page menu then here in appearance I see that on my pages I I have only one sample page for example now if, if I want to add another new page so let's add add new page uh, here will be my about page for example the content about page and then here on the uh, on the page attributes on the parent it does not have parent menu so I'm just going to hit publish for now here I'm just going to hit refresh and it still doesn't show because we still uh, have not add this page to my menu so if I come back now in my appearance and then menus here it's still it is not added automatically to this uh, top menu name so for example if I would like to have this about page to my menu then I can select this about page and then click on add to menu button and then now I click on save menu and refresh my website and then as you can see now I have this uh, about menu so let's go to the options again which says automatically add new top level pages to this menu let's say now we check on this and then click on save menu now we go to the pages and add new again and now let's say we want to um, create new contact page and then click on publish now if we uh, refresh this browser as you can see it is automatically added to this menu it is not like the about page that we have to come back to the appearance and then its menu and then select the page that we wanted and add to menu and then it will be added here. This is the use 
of the auto add pages. So whenever you create pages in new pages, it will be automatically added here on this menu structure. And then here we can see that it will be added automatically in our website front end. So for example, if you just want to track around about the position, then you can just move around. But for now, I just want this. And um, this is the downside of this option. So even if you want to automatically add new top level pages to this menu, it will not add the child pages. So for example, if you go to our pages and add new again, and then now I'm going to uh, type on address, for example, and then address page. And I want this page to actually to appear in the drop down menu under the contact. So what I can do here is the page attributes on the parent, you can select on the drop down menu and then you want to choose contact because you want to appear under the contact page menu. And then now if I click on publish, if I refresh my website, it is not added here because uh, it just added the top level pages, not the child pages. So if I go back to my menus here, it is still here and it is not added here. This is the downside of this um, top level pages. And I hope uh, WordPress would probably create another automatically um, add child pages to a menu, for example, they would be useful and the option as well. So as we want it, we want to have the address menu to the under the contact menu. So we click on add menu and then we just can uh, put on address page as sub item of the contact. And now if I want to save my menu and then refresh my browser, as you can see now I have the drop down menu which is called address page. So I hope this video will help you to understand about that options in your menu settings. And thank you so much for watching this video. Take care of yourself and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.